Everybody, so we're about to do the We Shall Overcome tribute. You all, you all, like I said before, are going to be following the band in classic Sega Line parade style. We're going to go up to the stage. Someone's going to come on the stage and make a presentation. And then y'all are going to get off the stage so the band can have their own set, okay? Remember what you're doing. Remember that you are honoring and paying tribute to people who have been working 40 years to make sure that black cultural workers in the South are supported. Remember the song that you're singing and what it means to all of us and be honorable and be respectful in your delivery, okay? You guys, this is the hot egg brass bear from New Orleans. And I want to introduce you guys. These are the kids from the, um, See the fire camp. It's the it's the youth um, social justice camp. Just so who y'all know who everybody is. Everybody's related. All right, let's go. Uh. Highlander Center started in 1932 over in Montingle, Tennessee, which is on the Cumberland Plateau. It was started by some, what we kind of lovingly say, radical hillbillies who wanted to make a difference by opening an adult education school uh, that would serve people in marginalized communities, poor people of the Cumberland Plateau. And uh, the early years were working with miners and um, woodcutters, was on labor and labor education, organizing workers. And Highlander was one of the few places in the South where black and white people could come together. And as a civil rights movement, because of that, Highlander was positioned to be able to play a role in the civil rights movement because Highlander had been convening interracial workshops against the law, I might add. I'm here at Highland because I, I became familiar with social justice organizing uh, through Highland back in 92 and 93. I was a part of the summer youth workshop and the youth citizenship school here at, here at Highland. But so I was I was um, always interested in social justice work and making a difference, you know, the movement per se. And this is how I got sort of trained and, and introduced to uh, this whole network of people around the country working. But right now, like I said, I'm with a group called Citizens for Police Review. It's an organization that's about 10 years old. It's local here in Knoxville. And we address issues of police brutality. And we got started because there was a series of killings uh, by the police, uh, shootings, police shootings, where it was young black men involved. A couple of dear friends of mine were shot and killed. And uh, it was just a community uproar, a reaction to um, to this violence that was going on at the hands of the police. Mm -hmm. 